So I admit it, I messed up. I slept in my contact lenses. But thankfully, my eyes turned out okay. But I took some pictures and I thought I'd share with you the dangers of sleeping in contact lenses, when it's okay to sleep in them, and which lenses are approved by the FDA for overnight wear. Let's take a look. Hello and welcome, this is Dr. Allen here from the Dr. Eye Health Show, helping you learn all about the eyes, vision, and finding the best vision products. So if you're new here to the channel, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Now, again, I slept in my contact lenses the other night and it was completely by accident, but still I feel bad because as an eye care professional, I feel like I should be trying to lead by example and yeah, but I'm human and things happen. But when I woke up, I felt something was wrong and quickly just figured out what had happened. So I quick rushed to the bathroom, took out the lenses and then grabbed my camera to take some photos so I could show you what it looked like. So here is what it looked like that morning. You can tell that my eyes were red and irritated. They even had a bunch of mucus developing in the corners of the eyes, which was kind of a yellow green mucus. My eyes felt sticky. They certainly did not, I wasn't seeing very well even putting on my glasses, I could tell that things just weren't quite as crisp as they usually were. Again, thankfully I was not in any pain because that would have been a major indicator that something was terribly wrong, like I could have had a serious eye infection. Which is one of the main reasons why most eye doctors do not recommend sleeping in contact lenses. Your chance of developing infectious keratitis, getting a corneal infection, is four to five times greater for anybody sleeping in lenses versus somebody who just wears contact lenses during the day only. And I can tell you that the types of infection you get from sleeping in contact lenses are some of the nastiest, worst types of infections you can get on the eye. In fact, there's a nasty bug called Pseudomonas that you can get from contact lenses, and that can eat through your cornea within 24 hours, leaving your whole eye just open to the environment. Yeah, it's nasty. But infection is not the only risk or complication from sleeping in contacts. There are many other problems. Of course, there's dryness and irritation, but also a condition called just general keratitis, which is swelling or edema of the cornea caused by hypoxia or lack of oxygen getting to the cornea, which usually results in irritation and blurred vision along with other inflammatory complications. Now, hopefully I didn't scare you too much with those pictures and descriptions, but I just wanted to stress the reason why most eye doctors don't recommend sleeping in contacts. However, there are some conditions or scenarios where eye doctors will prescribe overnight contact lens wear for specific reasons. One of those reasons could be because you have scratched your cornea. Sometimes when people scratch their cornea, their eyelid keeps coming down and rubbing on their eye, making things feel much worse, and it's hard for them to sleep or really function. So we can put a bandage contact lens on the eye, and that'll help pre prevent the eyelid from rubbing on that cornea, causing that pain. It can be a real help for some people. Or sometimes we put them on after some sort of eye surgery, such as having PRK, a type of LASIK type surgery. And I did a video going over LASIK versus PRK. If you want to check that out, I will hook up a link in the video description below for you. But the bandage contact lens in that scenario, again, helps cover the eye because it's a similar type of thing. There's a scratch on the cornea and we want to protect the cornea with that bandage lens. However, during those scenarios, we also prescribe antibiotic eye drops to help prevent possible infections infection with the contact lens wear. And usually the patient is following up with an eye care provider pretty frequently. Now, some people can be prescribed contact lenses for sleeping in. There are lenses that have been approved by the US FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, for overnight wear, uh, or what's called extended wear contacts. That's the proper term that we use in the eye clinic. The few lenses that are approved by the FDA are approved because they have higher oxygen transmissibility. We denote that as DK over T. That's how much oxygen from the air in our environment is passing through that plastic of a contact lens and getting to the surface of your eye because your cornea of your eye does breathe oxygen. And when you're sleeping at night, even when you're not wearing contact lenses, your eyelids close and that prevents further oxygen from getting to the cornea. In fact, most people's corneas swell about 4%. Again, that's without wearing contacts. Just any normal sleeping, you get a 4% swelling of your cornea. 
But if you are wearing a contact lens, that's going to further decrease the amount of oxygen getting to the surface, and that causes things to be much worse. Not to mention the moist environment and increased amount of heat from the closed eyelid, which happens to be the perfect breeding ground for bacteria. Now for some people's lifestyle, sleeping in contact lenses is an amazing option. And yes, eye doctors do prescribe contact lenses for sleeping in, but they have to prescribe one of these lenses that are FDA approved for extended wear. Now before we go over some of the lenses that are approved for overnight wear, go ahead and leave a comment below if you have ever accidentally slept in your contacts. Have, do you sleep in your contacts overnight regularly? What has been your experience? I'd like to know. In case you're curious, I'm just going to listen off the three contact lenses that I often prescribe the most often for any sort of extended wear. The first one is going to be the Cooper Vision Biofinity lens. This one does have a rather high oxygen DK over T. It's around 160 DK over T. And this lens is approved by the FDA for up to six nights of extended wear, where other lenses such as the AccuView Oasis lens, which has a DK over T of, I think about 120. <laughs> Let's just look this up here. Okay, 121, I was really close. But those AccuView Oasis lenses are also approved for up to six nights of extended wear. And then there's the Air Optics Night and Day lens, which has one of the highest, if not the highest, DK over T right now, which is around 174 DK over T. But that lens is actually approved for up to 30 nights of extended wear. Yeah, that's 30 nights of sleeping in the same contact lens. Now the big disclaimer here is that I am not telling you that if you already wear one of these lenses that you can go out and start sleeping in these lenses. That's not how they are prescribed. Not everybody does well with sleeping in their lenses. In fact, eye doctors are supposed to uh, prescribe or recommend, hey, if you wanna sleep in your lens, we need to kind of gradually taper you into it and make sure and verify that it is something for you. It seems like some people do just fine sleeping in their lenses, while other people, even just one night, causes terrible consequences. There definitely seems to be some level of tolerance that some people can seem to sleep in lenses easier versus others. If your eye doctor did not prescribe you contact lenses specifically for extended wear, then I do not recommend sleeping in contact lenses. Even in those scenarios where I do prescribe it for somebody, I give them about a hundred different like just, hey, your chance of infection is super high. You need to give us a call immediately if you're having any problems at all. Take out your lenses and give us a call right away. So if you do sleep in your contact lenses, or really anytime you're wearing contacts, if you do develop any redness, pain, any problems, take out your lenses right away and give your local eye doctor a call so they can help you out. Remember that you only get two eyes, so please take care of them. Hey, if you like this video and you learned something new, smash that like button for me. And if you'd like to learn more about which contact lenses are my favorite for things like dry eyes, or if you're trying to save money and you're on a tight budget, then check out my full video series about contact lenses by clicking or tapping the screen over here to decide. Otherwise, keep an eye on it, and we'll talk to you soon.